In this Debaco University video, I'm going to go over the lollipop printing method to maximize the light exposure to your plant's leaves. Let's get into the lollipop printing method for cannabis production. So first off, what are we doing with the lollipop method? Well, we're enhancing the top buds. Visually, the lollipop plants have bare stems with no foliage towards the bottom, similar to a lollipop stick. We can see that evident right here. Lollipopping is a pruning technique that enhances the buds at the top. This works well with growers also planning on the screen of green pruning method. Helps really train those branches and eliminate any lower leaves to help air circulation and also just plant efficiency. The result is to maximize the bud size of those apical buds. Uh, this can be done also with auto flowers as well. So not just sativa uh, or indica dominant strains can also be done with auto flowers. Now what's happening is, as I said, we're trying to maximize that kind of uh, light use. Light popping allows for the greatest light intensity to be utilized by the plant is accomplished by removing growth uh, up to a certain point. Now that certain point is determined by the grower. Here we can see all these leaves kind of clean, removed, maximizing the light exposure of the leaves up here. We also see that evident in the plants here. Uh, all the lower leaves kind of cleared out. Uh, here they though, they went a couple fewer nodes up the plant before they started uh, not removing leaves. Here they went a little higher. And again, that's grower choice. This pruning method, though, will focus the light energy being efficiently captured and stored by the apical buds, and simply the goal is to maximize the bud size and also the quality of the buds produced. Now, how do you go about doing this method? Well, the lollipop pruning method should be initiated uh, initially kind of completed two to three days before the plants are flipped into a flowering photo period, or it can even be done a little bit before that because you want to start by removing unnecessary lower fo foliage that is heavily shaded. Simply, it's not getting enough light. How to determine if it's not getting enough light? Well, you check it with a PAR meter. This ensures growers can know the light intensity that actually is within the canopy. Typically, the entire branches are not removed unless there are some, uh, they are short and not reaching the main light intensity to begin with. So typically, the branches are kept, so the leaves that are removed. In general, growers should focus their uh, timing um, their trimming efforts and their timing uh, and for five or more nodes below the top or apical meristem of the plant. We don't want to prune way up to just the very tippity top. We do want to allow some portion of canopy there. Um, again, trimming there about five or more nodes below the top is a good starting point for you. Now, lollipopping is not the same as defoliation. So, yes, both do involve removing leaves, so that is true, but lollipopping focuses on the bottom part of the plant with a focus on removing growth that receives minimal light. Uh, specifically, lollipopping favors the apical or top buds, while def defoliation really does not prioritize. Defoliation is just removing leaves, not really in an organized format per se. Lollipopping is really focusing on those that are not getting the light intensity, taking those out. It's a very directed form. Now, common method here is lollipopping uh, is commonly done as part of a complete pruning or training program. For example, lollipopping and the screen of green tend to go hand in hand. Why? Because you're trying to maximize all those branches out on the screen. As a result, that lower portion is not getting very much light and you want to improve your air circulation. So you're maximizing your light. Here, you're also increasing your air circulation. This is why lollipopping and screen of green typically are done together, even though each can kind of be done independently.